Abbott last September made it legal for everybody to carry a gun. I mean, let's invite some more ants to the picnic. <laughs> You know, when she talks about, you know, folks who have guns who shouldn't have guns, let me just make this clear. This permitless carry bill that police officers and sheriff's deputies begged Greg Abbott not to sign because it would make their job that much more dangerous. He turned his back on them and signed it anyhow. And he signed it despite being told that over the last five years, 35,000 of our fellow Texans who applied for a license to carry and went through the background check were rejected because they have a violent criminal past, because they've beaten a spouse, because they are going to harm themselves or someone else in their life. And law enforcement stepped in and said, that person should not be carrying a loaded gun in public. Well, now all 35,000 of them are free to do so, as are the tens of thousands who knew better than to ever apply for a license to carry because they wouldn't have passed the background check. They are free to carry a gun now on our streets and they are carrying guns on our streets. More cops are gunned down in the state of Texas than any other state bar none. We have seen a predictable spike in gun violence in this state. More women are shot by their intimate partners in this state than almost any other state because we make it so easy for those who are violent against those that they live with and work with to have these guns right now. Listen, I'm as Texan as the next person. Four generations in the state grew up with firearms in the house. My uncle Raymond was a jail captain, sheriff's deputy, sharpshooter award, taught my sisters and me how to use a gun, but he taught us the responsibility of owning that firearm. You know, Rhonda Hart, who's here, she proposed to me when I first met her a safe storage law that says, listen, we're going to defend your Second Amendment right. You need to have that gun for self-defense if that's what you feel, or to hunt, or for collection, or sport, none of my business. But if you have kiddos in the house, if you have someone who may be a danger to themselves or someone else, you're going to keep that firearm locked up. You're going to store that thing in a way so that it cannot be used against any of us. I've listened to plenty of gun owners and non-gun owners, Republicans, Democrats. They agree with Rhonda. People agree with universal background checks. If you want to have a gun and you're going to buy it in this state, we need to make sure you're not going to hurt somebody with it. It would have prevented the mass shooting in Midland and Odessa. Guy went to a federally licensed firearms dealer, tried to buy an AR-15, wouldn't sell it to him because he couldn't pass a background check, but because we don't have a universal background check in Texas, he could buy that same gun from a private seller out of the trunk of his car and then go use it to kill people in his community. We can do better. We can defend the Second Amendment and protect the lives of our fellow Texans. And when we win this, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Thank you for asking.